Alright, okay. <clears throat> First off, Merry Christmas to everyone. Hope you had a good holiday. Um, I just finished watching the biggest fourth quarter throw I've seen in a while. You know, here I am waking up Christmas, right? Loving NBA basketball. It's just a tradition, right? Everyone loves it. And I come and wake up to a good game. We're playing amazing, right? I mean, Randall was on point. Jen Brunson throwing dimes. I mean, I, I couldn't really ask for anything more. And then I started noticing Embiid starting to cook a little bit, right? And I was getting worried, right? I was like, okay, this guy is losing his shots, right? He's got to step back going. His middies fire. He's driving in. He's babying Mitchell, right? Who's been playing great defense. I'm getting worried, right? And and then George Neon comes to the game in the fourth quarter, right? They close the deficit because of Harden. Harden sending him shots. And George Neon, guys, Neon, he comes in and he's wide open on every single shot. Like, I, I, I didn't even know what I was witnessing at a certain point. Because he was making everything. He didn't miss a single shot. He didn't. I'm tripping. He missed a lot of shots. But he had a lot of wide open shots. Every single time, it was crazy. Because I'm like, oh, I wonder what they're going to run up this time. It's literally Harden coming up with the ball. Niang sends the screen. He goes around Harden to the other side. Harden... Goes to the left, and there's a behind-the-back pass. He did that for four possessions in a row. And Niang had open shots in all of them. And thank God, right? Like, at a certain point, he could have made all of them because he was, he was making them, and he could have scored all of them, right? But no, I had to have false hope. He was missing them. And then I think when we go back, right, we'll make a smart shot, and we'll, and we'll cut the deficit, right? Because we were leading the whole game, and that was the first time they were leading by three. And then I remember the one possession where we were down by three, and then we just started chucking up threes. Like, every single time they missed a three, we kept on chucking threes. It's like that was the only option we had. We couldn't create a smart shot, cut it by one. I mean, cut it to one, right? And, and work something along those lines. But no, we couldn't do that. We couldn't do that. And they ran the same play with Neon, and we fall. Completely fall. This just kind of sucks a lot because it's like we were in such a good streak, and then we have that horrible game against Chicago where we just can't shoot a free throw for our lives. And then we have this game where we're leading the whole entire game up until the fourth quarter. And we were only down by three, right? When they were leading, like, they're, we were down by three for, like, a good two minutes. And we just couldn't make a shot for our lives. And then Neon just started. They ran the same play with Neon and Harden. Same play, same play, same play. Open three, open three, open three. And the world we expect, right? They're not going to make one, right? Like that, I mean, I don't know what we're thinking defensively, considering we've been so good. That we let them run the same play every time. And it's just like infuriating because it's bro, it's Christmas Day at the Garden. You, you can't not lose that game. If there's one game you shouldn't lose throughout the whole season, right? So far in this first half of the season, you can't lose that game at home against the Sixers. You know, when we're, I think we're what, fifth seed, sixth seed? It'll be a big jump, right? I'm not trying to play in the play-ins because I know we'll get cooked in the play-ins. We, I know we'll, we'll fall under the pressure. So at least as long as we're in the playoffs in a good spot, Right? Try to get that home court advantage as well. I don't know why we won't do that. You know? But we can't. You know, we can't make it easy for ourselves. And I mean, I, I look, like the funny thing is like we're gonna win a game a big game later, and then I won't care. I'll be okay with it. I'll be like, oh, we won. Randall had a great game, which he did. He had a fucking amazing game. He had 35, right? Jalen, you know, he left early. Um, not early, but he left in the late of the fourth quarter. Kind of killed the momentum completely. The idea of us even maybe coming back, right? He had 23 and 11. You know, RJ, not a bad game. He's been picking it up. But, you know, the thing is, like, when we're struggling offensively, which is what bothers me, especially, especially in the later half of this fourth quarter, because we couldn't create a shot for our lives, or we couldn't even make a shot, how do you not bring on someone like Cam Reddish, where he's literally a shot creator? Like, he can make anything happen, and we don't bring him on. We don't. And then defensively, right? Like, Obi Toppin is not great. But I like the idea of having more size. And especially the fact that we kept on getting cooked with that uh, 
with that George Neon Harden thing, if we had more size, maybe we could have maybe stopped something. But we kept in Grimes, we kept in quickly, and they were just completely crumbling. They were. It was like the ball move was too much for them. Like I was looking and they're literally chasing around each other. And I think what bothers me the most, especially, is that I remember like it was like 102 to like one something, right? Like I don't know how big the lead was, right? Or like it was 100 to something. And then we scored two points and it makes it 102. And that was in the sixth minute. And we had 102 for nearly four straight minutes. So, you know, uh, that's a problem, right? Uh, the fact that there's still six minutes left in the game, it's like let, it's like low double digits, not that high. How do you not bring on someone that's going to create a shot? You know, someone like Cam Reddish or something. You need some a different offensive threat because clearly the guys on the court aren't motivated enough to continue the way they were playing the whole game. The feeling inside of me, especially when I saw Embiid hitting his middies and then seeing a Harden having the freest three-pointers, this is like the top five, one of the top five shooters of all time, and we're giving him open threes. What do you expect? What do you expect? So, yeah, I mean, it's just annoying, right? Uh, we got to do better. I mean, I look at the standings again. I don't think we're that bad. This is not going to affect us too bad, I think. No, it will. It will because the Hawks are just on our ass and so are the Pacers. Uh, so that's not good at all. Um, next game is against the Mavericks. Um, and then we have two fairly easy games in the Spurs and the Rockets we should win. Then the Suns at home. Then the Spurs again. We have a very weird run. You know, a lot of easy games, a lot of hard games. We have to close out games properly. You know, if we're going to continue, we got to we gotta have some continuity in our offense. Um, and our defense was just so bad. So bad in, in the second half. So, yeah, that's my rant. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Yeah, see you soon. Stay up.